Hello everyone and welcome to this training about the Seychelles. My name is Christine and I am from the Seychelles Tourist Office. So I will be starting today. I'll just share my screen with you so you can see the presentation itself. There we go. So we are very proud to say that after all these years, our islands have not changed much. They still remain very pristine, beautiful, uncommercialized islands. So where are we? We are about four to 10 degrees south of the equator, about 1600 kilometers of the east coast of Kenya, and right in the heart of the Indian Ocean. So in total, we have 115 islands. So all the islands that you see here on the screens, all of these are the Seychelles island groups. So the one in the small square at the top, that's the inner islands of the Seychelles. Um, so these are the islands where you or your clients will be able to visit. These are the islands where you have accommodation and accessibility by flight and by boat. We do have few islands now outside of this box, um, which you can also stay on. And these will be one island, one resort concept. So as I mentioned, we have 115 islands, whereby 41 are granitic islands and 74 are coralline islands. So when we talk about granitic islands, we talk about the beautiful green, luscious, um, mountainous islands. And when we talk about the coral islands, these are more flat islands, a little bit like what you have in the Maldives. So when to go? Any time of the year, we're really blessed. We are the only uh, destination in the Indian Ocean, which is outside of the cyclone belt. And that gives us a very pleasant tropical climate um, throughout the year. So this brings us to talk a little bit about the travel season. In Seychelles, it all has to do with the direction of the wind. So from May to September, it's the Southeast trade wind. It's a little bit drier, a little bit cooler, lower in humidity. And from October to April is the Northwest trade wind. So now we're talking about more humid, warm, tropical weather, about 30 degrees. And ladies, just know the moment you step off this plane, your hair is going to go poof. It's the humidity. Even if you arrive at night, you will feel the humidity. So as I said, and you can see on the screen here, the, main, the temperature will be around 30 degrees. It can go up to 32 degrees in some months, like April especially, but know that we are surrounded by the sea. So you always have a nice, cool breeze coming in. And of course, we have hot, rainy season as well. So this is traditionally mid-December to mid-February, where we have frequent rainfall throughout the day. We're talking about 15, 30 minutes of rainfall, but when it rains, it pours. So for 15, 20 minutes, you'll have just a little refresher rain, and then it stops, the sun comes out, and you continue with your holiday. So just to talk a little bit about the Seychelles people, we have about 95,000 people in population, so very small population, as you can see, coming from different parts of the world, Europe, Africa, and Asia. So quite a blend, a melting pot of cultures and people there. We speak three official languages, English, French, and Creole are taught in school. All three are national languages and are spoken by everyone. So we do have the French news at 6 p.m., the English news at 7 p.m., and the Creole news at 8 p.m. as well. Most of the Seychelles population are also Roman Catholic. Um, just to mention a little bit about our cuisine, we do like our food in the Seychelles, we eat very well. We are uh, surrounded by the sea, so we eat a lot of um, seafood, a lot of fresh fish, um, salads, and I will say our main staple food is rice as well, which we do eat for um, lunch and dinner. We do eat our food quite spicy, but for the tourists, for yourselves, we, knew, we know your palate might be a little different. So um, yeah, it's a little less spicy for you, you will find when you go to the local restaurants. So in Seychelles, it's all about island hopping. This is what we encourage. Um, as much as possible. Of course, it depends on the budget, but as you will see during this presentation, all the islands are very different from one another. So island hopping is um, definitely advised during a trip to the Seychelles. We start 
with her first main island of Mahe. Mahe is the gateway to the Seychelles. This is where her only in, uh, international airport is found. And from there, you can go onto the different islands. So the northern part of Mahe, um, which you can see on the screen, Beauvalon Bay. So in that area, you have a lot of restaurant, hotel, bars, everything that is pretty much in close proximity. So it's quite easy to get around. If you have a client who doesn't want to really be going around driving or taking the bus, it's easy for them to be to find pretty much everything in that area. And Victoria, her capital is just 10 minutes away by bus. If you are staying in the South, you will have um, all these as well available to you. However, it might not be as close as the North. So you will have to take a taxi or drive um, by uh, drive by car. We do drive on the left hand side in the Seychelles, so that makes it a little easier as well. This is her capital, Victoria, right in the heart of her capital. You have the clock tower, which was a gift from the Queen of England. So in, um, Seychelles is an ex-British colony. And we've had this uh, clock tower for um, a little bit over 100 years. Um, we have her very colorful um, uh, market in Victoria. So this market is where you will have all the fresh fruits, all the fresh vegetable, the fish, which was just caught the same morning. This is where you can buy all your local souvenirs, arts and crafts, spices to bring back to your friends and family. And this is where you also have all the best gossip on the island. This is the place to go. It is open every day from Monday to Saturday. Um, we are surrounded by marine parks. So possibility to go snorkeling, to go on excursions in the marine park. We're surrounded by three marine parks um, just around this, this part of Mahe as well. Um, but this also means that it is protected, so no fishing and no motorized sports activities in these parts. Um, as I said at the beginning, we are mountainous islands, so possibility to go up walking in the mountains for nature trails. You can do 30 minutes, one hour, two hour. It can be done up to four hours. It just depends on how much you want to see, how much you want to do, and of course, your endurance. Um, if you want to do an easy trail, which takes just about 30 minutes to an hour, this you can do easily by yourself. But for the more um, complicated trails, the ones that can take up to four hours to go up and four hours to go down, we do recommend that you take a guide with you. We do have her um, distillery on Mahe, her um, Takamaka Bay Distillery. So this is one of another great place that you can visit. You will see the different process of how the rum is made um, and you will have a tour of the distillery and the plantation itself, which is quite, has a quite a nice history. And at the end of it, you will have a nice rum tasting. Um, the rums are really, really nice. Some of them are even award-winning rum. I will always recommend the vanilla rum and the coconut rum. Um, but yeah, it's a tasting. So just know that after tasting different eight different kinds of rums, and if it's midday and it's a hot day, you might be a little bit tipsy afterwards. So drink plenty of water as well. Um, uh, horse riding, this is something else not everybody thinks of when they think of the Seychelles, but horse riding is definitely something that can be done. It can be done with children, it can be done with your loved ones, it can be done as a special thing, as a proposal. The horses cannot really go up in the mountains, the road are not that good for them. So along the beach, I would, I would say um, you could do it as a special proposal. For example, you walk along the beach and then you get to a certain place and you've got that little picnic or something organized, but just as something special or maybe for an anniversary as well. We wouldn't be talking about the Seychelles without mentioning how beautiful, amazing, breathtaking beaches, of course. Um, you have 65 beaches on the island of Mahi alone. So you can easily find just you, yourself, and your footprints on the beach. As the locals, we tend to go to the beach during the weekend. We move over to her second main island of Prana. Prana is about 15 to 20 minutes by small twin otter plane, which you can see there on the screen. Or you can go with the catamaran, which takes about one hour. So you have the plane every 30 minutes throughout the day depending on the demand, of course. And for the, for the ferry, it's um, three times during the day. It goes from Mahi to Prana and back, and there are days when it continues on to Ladig as well. 
So you have it pretty much standard time at 7.30 in the morning, and then you have one midday. So it could be around 10.30 or 11.30, and you have one at 4.30. So all these leaving Mahe and coming back um, later on. So Prana is her second main island, and it is home to um, one of her UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is called the Valle de May. The Valle de May is where you will find the famous um, Coco de May um, nut. This is uh, the world's biggest and heaviest nut. It can weigh up to 25 kilos. So as you can see from its very distinctive shape, it represents a woman's bum. So it's a female of the nut. And uh, this is also what you have on your passport when you come into the Seychelles. This is the entry to the Seychelles on the passport. Um, usually they will take out what's inside of the nut. So that is usually used a lot for cosmetic product. So the nut doesn't weigh 25 kilos when they take it out, obviously. And you can buy it, you can keep it as a souvenir for life. This one is the male version of the nut. Um, I'm afraid I do not have much more explanation than this. This is nature being naughty all on its own. Um, the male version, when it falls, after a few weeks, it, it dies. So we don't keep this one. And um, we've put up, obviously, this beautiful photo of Oslazio on Prala, which is voted as one of the world's most beautiful beaches. And, of course, we have the islands in the surrounding. So we have islands like Cousin and Arid, which are bird sanctuaries. So these are islands where you can visit and see all the different kind of bird species that lives there. Curieuse, which is for the giant land tortoise, and Lilo Saint-Pierre, which is one of the best possible snorkeling. So all these can be done as an excursion in, in one day where you can visit the bird sanctuaries. Then you can go over to Curieuse to see the giant land tortoise. You have a little trek over to the other side of the island where you have a barbecue lunch waiting for you. And in the afternoon, you end with a snorkeling trip and around St. Pierre where you can easily spot some turtles as well. We move over to third main island, La Digue. La Digue is about 15 minutes by boat from Prana and uh, you have boats nearly every hour going over to the island. Um, it is the island where we say time stands still. Things are very, very different on the dig. Um, firstly, they go around by bicycle. That's the main mode of transport. You do have one or two ox guards left, and these are mostly used for weddings. You have one wedding at least every day on this island. It is a very quiet island. So during the day, it might be a little busy when you are there because there's a lot of people doing excursions and visits and things like this. But come... Um, 5 p.m. and the last boat leaves for the day. You are just left, you and this 2,500 population of people for the day. So very, very easy to, to just live the ultimate island life experience. So one of the spot um, uh, on the dig is Union Estate, which is a private property. You pay 115 Seychelles rupees to get in. And there you will be able to see the old copra factory, the old cemetery. You'll be able to feed the giant land tortoise. You'll see the vanilla plantation. And as you walk, you will come to here, the end, where you have also Stargent, which is voted as the world's most beautiful, um, beautiful beach. But um, it's also known as the beach with the granite, granite boulders as well. We have other small granitic islands near Mahi and near Prana. So just some of them for you to see there. You have St. Anne, where we will soon have a new property, um, Club Med, which will open there. Um, this year we have Surf Island, Round Island and Mahi, North Island, which is a private island, Silhouette, where you have the hills and the breeze. Um, near Prana, you have Chauve-Souris, you have Cousin Island, Round Island as well, Frigate and Felicite, where we have the Six Senses property. Very easy access to get there. We have her national airline, Air Seychelles, which until March were flying daily from Johannesburg to, to the Seychelles. And Ethiopian Airlines and Kenya Airways that does fly um, two, three times weekly as well from their respective hubs. Um, we do have accommodation for everyone in every budget. So from your small guest house, to your small hotel, to your bigger hotel. So in Seychelles, know that hotels are categorized as small and big, depending on the number of rooms. Under 25 rooms is a small hotel, and above this is a bigger hotel. Very nice and spectacular flora and fauna 
Um, as you can see there, we have her small geckos, um, one of the smallest frog that can fit on your thumbnail, and of course, her friends under the sea, um, the sea turtles, which you can see, um, especially during the period of November to April. We do have green turtle and um, hawk turtle as well. Um, I mentioned about the Valle de May, which is her, her UNESCO World Heritage Site. We have a second one, which is the Aldabra Atoll. So if you remember at the beginning, I showed you on the map, all the main islands were right at the top. So this one is right at the end. Um, it still for, forms part of the Seychelles Islands, and it is the world's largest race atoll. Um, this is where you have the biggest population of giant land tortoise. We have 150,000 giant land tortoise living there. And this is much, much more than the Galapagos and much, much more than the Seychelles population itself as well. In the Valle de May, which I had mentioned before, we do have one of her endemic um, to the, to the Valle de May, which is the black parrot. So this can only be found on Prale and in the Valle de May itself. So some of the activities to do whilst you are in the Seychelles, sailing and cruising, which is one of the best ways to discover all these hidden treasure coves. Um, one week of sailing, you could do it with crew, or if you can, you can drive your own boat, you can do it with that as well. And you discover so many islands. You go to sleep at night, you wake up and go to a new island every morning. Snorkeling, snorkeling can be done directly from the beach. You do not need a boat to go out snorkeling diving which is pretty much a year-round activity as well and you could have excellent visibility um, down to 30, 30 meters under the sea. We do have diving with whale shark which the main season for this is around October, November time but funny enough we have had um, whale shark even last year in July so now we get the helicopter companies, we use the drones to help us spot them um, a little bit easier. We do have different kind of fishing that is done, especially on the outer islands. And this is something that is very big here on the South African market. This is my favorite one, which is catch and release. You catch them, you take your photo, your selfie with them, and then you release them back into the ocean. We have an 18 hole championship golf course, which is found on the island of Prana. So this is at the Constance Lemuria Hotel. And even if you are not staying at the hotel, you can um, book an appointment to come and play golf. You just need to pay for the environmental fee and if you need to, to borrow the equipment, of course. Um, I think we're all looking to be very relaxed and very zen during her holiday. So wellness and spa is something that we all look forward to. Um, the hotels, the spas, they try and do this as, as best as they can in a nice, um, relaxing atmosphere. And as you can see, you're right there in the garden. And they tend to try and use as much as the local products as they can. Um, the scrubs, which can be used from papaya, from mango, from different things you can find around you. You will smell like a fruit when you're done, <laughs> but it will be nice and you will be more relaxed, I'm sure. We do have zip lining and rock climbing, especially for the younger kids who wants to be a little bit more adventurous. It's something really fun. I've done it myself and really safe as well. Yoga with such an amazing view like this, I'm sure this will be one of the best spots to, to be doing yoga. And of course, Seychelles has long been the island of love. Um, weddings are legally recognized um, in the, that, that happened in the Seychelles are legally recognized when you come back to South Africa. You need your passport, your birth certificate. If you've been married before, you need to, to send your divorce decree. And obviously, these are things which just needs to be submitted to the civil status office. It's very simple and very straightforward. Um, and you just need to be in the country a few days before the wedding itself. And we're talking about a civil wedding, of course, and for a religious ceremony, this can also be organized. Um, and ha, your honeymoon, of course, if you want to get married in your home country. But of course, as we said, Seychelles is the land of perpetual summer. So very much welcome year round to come for your honeymoon and later on come back with the children. Seychelles has never been a more safer destination when it comes to kids. They can run around, they can just 
do silly things that kids can get away with only on holiday. They can be like the locals. They don't, you don't have to be looking after them all the time. You can trust them that they will be safe. We call them have very important kids for the little BIK program for them. So kids are very happy when, when they are there. Um, lots to do and lots for them to see as well. So just some important information for you to know. We are about two hours ahead um, throughout the whole time. You only need your passport to be valid for the duration of your stay. So from the day you come into the day you leave, you do not need your passport to be valid for six months and you need to have proof of accommodation. Now, with the um, pandemic that is going on at the moment, we're also asking for a negative PCR tests 72 hours before traveling. Um, you do not need vaccination unless you have come from an area which is infected. Um, just a little note for the gentlemen to check before they travel. A lot of times the hotels will ask that the gentlemen wear long trousers in the evening for dinners and if they are going to the casinos as well. As I mentioned at the beginning, we drive on the left-hand side and the mode of transportation which you can have. On Mahe and Prale, you have public um, buses. So these are seven rupees. Um, seven rupees is about seven rand. It's pretty much the same amount and this is to go anywhere. So you can go from the north to Victoria, from the north to the south, and you have taxis and obviously car rental. You only need your South African driving license for, for to car a car. On the dig, you have the bicycle, and if you get the chance, you can probably go in one of the ops cars as well. And if you have a little more budget, we do have helicopters towards all the inner islands as well. The local currency is the Seychelles rupees, and you can only get this in the Seychelles itself. Um, you can change it at the bank, at the exchange bureaus. These are found on all three main islands. You have it at the airport, and you can change it back into REN before you travel back to South Africa. Um, all major credit cards are available and you have ATM on all three islands. So just a little resume of everything I've just said now. Um, in Seychelles, you have very pleasant tropical climate throughout the year. We are the only one in the Indian Ocean, which is outside of the cyclone belt, um, with amazing flora and fauna. No visa is required for citizens of any country. So if you have a client, if you have somebody who's married to someone and they always need to get a visa, know that they can decide to go tomorrow at the Seychelles and they will have peace of mind. We have no tropical diseases, need no dangerous plants of animal, very small time difference, so no jet lag at all. The flight is five hours to Johannesburg to to Seychelles, democratic constitution, politically and socially stable, but most of all, very important, is a friendly, hospitable, multi-ethnic population. So as I said, we're 95,000 people. When you meet someone from Seychelles, they might be a little bit shy at first, but the moment you get talking to them, you will find that they are very friendly and they are very happy to help with anything you may need. I would say thank you very much for listening to my presentation. I hope to see you all in the Seychelles when all this gets better and the airport reopens. Um, my office is based here in Renberg in Johannesburg. So please, you have my contact here. This presentation will also be shared with you. Do not hesitate to get in contact. I will always be happy to help. Um, if you need any brochures, any maps, anything sent to you, sent to your clients, we are also happy to do that. Thank you so much.